nation. Some of you all can imagine some outlandish things. You don't tell folks about it because they might think you're sort of crazy. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> See, some of you all can imagine yourself not flying on a 747, but you can imagine yourself owning your own. Amen. Amen. With your own landing strip. Yes. Amen. Amen. Your own set of pilots. That's right. <laughs> See, some of you all can imagine something like that. Some of you all can imagine, amen, an 80 carat rock on your finger. Not a 24 carat. Amen. Like a rock. See, some of you all can imagine. If you all see what I'm saying? There are not bad things that you can imagine. You can imagine some real good things. Yes. No matter what you can imagine, God is able to do, now here's your imagination, right? He's able to do exceeding, abundantly, above, all. All. So we never should settle with that old nature stuff. A lot of times that old nature have us settling with less than God is able to do. Oh, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And when it doesn't happen in our in our time frame, come on church, let us not relegate God to our clock. God said he's able to do it. Can it can can I, can everybody here say say Sarah? Sarah. Because God did not do it on her time clock. Sarah said that, told Hagar, go in and birth a, me a child by my husband. And Hagar, a young, had to be fine Egyptian. <laughs> she went in and did it. And here comes an Ishmael. God said, I'm able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think. Sarah had been asking for a child. When she was 90 years old, what did God do? <laughs> Brought her back her youth. Gave her youth back. Gave her her vitality back without the use of Viagra. God did. Come on, somebody. <laughs> God is able. God is able. And how long did she live after she birthed that son? Almost 40 years to see him grow up to be a man. My God. Amen. So God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think. Can everybody say he's able? He's able. Oh, now please look back at because the most important part is, is coming up. Mm -hmm. According, According to the, the power that the power is where? In me. In me. The power is not way out yonder in heaven no, somewhere. No, it's in here. It's in God have not outsourced anything. Is in so. Yes, yes. I got the power where? In me. In me. Ha! Hallelujah. 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 My God, somebody ought to be saying, how do I let the power out? Yeah. <laughs> how do I release the power? Can who ask? Woo, somebody said, please, how do I release the power? How do I release the power? <laughs> Yeah, let's, can y'all give me two minutes, I'm going to I'll answer that. Two places. Psalm 67. Uh, Sister Angela, Psalm 67. Praise the Lord. How do I release the power? Hallelujah. Sister Lisa, amen. Second Corinthians 4.13. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give me some running room up in here. Hey. Ah! Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, Glory to God. How do I 
release their power. Ooh. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 My God. God got work for you to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. 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 Sonics is gone. Uh, yeah. Hey Amen. Go down to Portland to a basketball game. And y'all know what? When you get into that arena and Brandon Roy is dropping those far away trays, it's electric. I don't know how many have ever been to a basketball game. And and I'm talking about everybody, your team is winning. You might just, this might be just your first time of going, but you get there and everybody else is caught up in the magic. Everybody is standing and it's a rumbling going on. And you know what, you know what, I went to a Sunday's game, somebody took me to one, and I said, you know, I, I know this. Come on. I know this feeling. Yeah. I know this spirit. This is what we do in church. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you all know what the basketball players say? They say, when we feel that, it's on. Mm -hmm. We get in the zone. Yes. That home court feeling, that spirit of you can do anything but fail. Come on now. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Don't you know men can't jump like those guys do? <laughs> I'm talking about they jump out of the rim and boom. My God, and they slam it down, and everybody go to it. Take it higher, higher in the wherever they go. And what do they do? They get even more. I'm talking about they make passes because it's a spirit there. Energy. It's an energy. It's a spiritual energy there. And what did? And so I see. See, I had to, for those who didn't understand y'all praising when y'all were praising, mm -hmm. I had to bring them Come into on, a man. realization yeah. because now you can understand it. Amen. When the church began to praise, hey. Amen. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. With the end, let the people praise it. Let all the people praise it. Yeah. There's an invitation for the energy of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, the anointing of the Lord. 